Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mazimoto. Today we're doing something a little special. We're hardtailing this shovel head frame. This is a stock shovel head frame. Doesn't look like it's been modified too much. And we're going to be welding in a V-twin manufacturing weld-in hardtail. This is the hardtail that I would recommend personally. Um, I use a different one for my shovel head and it wasn't my favorite. Uh, this one comes with a lot of amenities that the other ones don't. Um, I would also recommend maybe the Throttle Addictions one. So if you want your bike hardtail, we offer this as a service here at Mazumoto and you can uh, contact us on the website, mazumoto.com and we can talk to you and figure out um, steps to take to hardtail your frame. So let's go right ahead and get started. I'm just going to go over a few things about this uh, hardtail that I personally like. It has the um, axle plates. They look like they're cast. It comes with the axle. And it also comes with the tool mount there. Um, comes with the transmission plate, which is pretty cool. And this uh, mechanical crossover tube. It also has this stud that goes into the frame. And it came with two extra ones for the ends here. For this frame, I made a little motor jig. Um, I would recommend if you're doing this yourself, you can uh, either make one of these or use the engine itself. But um, this is definitely a lot easier to take in and out than the engine. First thing first, we're gonna do some measurements because with this hardtail, they give you a little bit of extra stock here um, to play with. So if you, this is about six and a quarter inches and when you measure six and a quarter from this spot here, um, it goes right into this radius here. So what we're gonna be looking for is right where that radius ends is where we're gonna be making our cut mark. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a straight edge to this bottom here and figure out where that radius ends so we can have a flat, seamless um, transition from this radius to the, to the rest of the frame. Actually going to go probably about a quarter of an inch in from there just to make sure that we have enough room and it looks like using the straight edge looks like about four inches in is where the radius begins so we're going to go ahead and go about a quarter inch in from there so we're going to be cutting on this on this inner mark. I'm just going to flip the frame around. Make sure that I have that measurement correct. And let's just make sure that we're in the same ballpark area back side six and a quarter inches perfect which means that I gotta hack this guy off because this is in the way currently so we're gonna go ahead and cut that bottom side and then we'll go up to the top So the frame is all cut now, as you can see. So I'm just gonna clean up all this, clean up all this, and uh, try and get the slug out of here. I just gotta clean this up. All right, so I've gotten it to this point. I've cleaned the sides up here. And if you can see, there's a little line that goes all around. That's the old slug. So what we're gonna be doing is, I got this uh, 5 8 steel rod. I'm gonna weld this to the slug here. 
and then we're gonna try and knock out that slug. All right, I got the slug out. I had to use the acetylene torch to heat it up a little bit and then just hammered on that piece there and it eventually broke free. So there it is, slugs out. Now I'm just gonna clean up the inside here. It looks like there's a lot of debris in there and I'm just gonna well or, uh, clean up all around and get it ready for um, putting the hardtail on. Alright, so this is final fit up. Um, I just have to push this guy back here. And I left the floorboard tabs in um, just in case you wanted to run some foot pegs. That's looking good. I'm about to carry the motor over here and throw the motor in just to make sure that everything is good to go. And these holes are perfectly lined up. And then with the motor in, I'm gonna do a tack and just start tacking it in place. So the motor's in, it's bolted up. I don't have the center bolt in yet, um, but I will put that in just a moment. Two rear bolts are in. And I'm just using this ratchet strap to uh, kind of pull the frame back and bridge this gap here. So there's no more gap. Um, it's looking good. It's looking like everything's lining up. It's time to weld up all the stuff. Do the tack welds now. So there it is, fully welded out. I got uh, all these welded, all this welded here. So I'm just gonna do one last test fit with the engine just to make sure everything still lines up. Motor is in and it fits. So I think this is uh, good to go. That's a hardtail double head frame. And um, it's all done. So if you need yours done, just let us know. Contact us at mazimoto.com. Thanks.